Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Ace and I have more Terra content here for you, as you can see. And of course, before I digress too much, let's directly start with the dancing animation. And as you can see, it's the dancing animation of a female Amun. And of course, I'm playing as a Lancer. If you guys haven't noticed that yet. And Lancers are, of course, the tanks right now, the official tanks. I'm not entirely sure if the warriors are currently... Uh, tanks, officially tanks already. Because they will be known as the Dutch tanks, I understood. As the uh, Lance will be the damage reduction slash block tanks due to their, uh, well, their shield, of course. But before we go into the actual gameplay, of course, let's dive into the skills. If you start off as a Lancer, you will only start off with, um, let's see, with the, of course, your stand fast, which is your right click. Which is using the shield. And depending on your equipment you have a certain damage reduction to any hits you take. As well as you gain MP I believe. When you have a successful um, block. And of course your combo attack. Which is actually a frontal cone. Instead of a uh, wildly slashing around you like most classes do. So you basically focus on a more frontal conal, uh, front cone zone with your auto attacks. Sky the need if you're just tanking a boss, I presume. And of course the racials that you start off with, which is the last a man standing, which is your oh shit's going down button. Hence the long cooldown. Of course the generic speed boost when you're out of combat. And as you can see, because of the blood of the dragons, which is a resistance to damage over time effects, as well as the no strangers to pain. If you are below a certain percentage of health, you take less damage. I'm mean, are pretty much the best tanks in that regard. I don't, uh, I have not seen any other race that has uh, damage reduction effects as the racials as good as these. And of course the prospectoring, which is basically just mining increased. And at level two, you get shield barrage, uh, shield barrage, barrage, apologies, which has a chance in stunning. Doesn't happen too often in my experience, but that's probably because I kill us too fast as well. And of course the spring attack, which basically just increases your burst damage as a tank. So I'm assuming it's really nice to get some initial aggro. It doesn't actually have a, a jump mechanic behind it, which I found kind of disappointing because it says you leap to your foe. But as you can see, this is the spring attack. That's it. But if you use it in, for example, your auto attacks... And you actually hit someone then. Uh, you can actually use that spring attack instantly, which causes a lot of burst damage. And of course the shield barrage uh, that has a chance of stunning. And that effect actually does hit around you, which is kind of neat of this combo system. Y you, um, Your attacks actually hurt someone. Even, you know, for example in World of Warcraft, your sword goes to someone and still says miss. In this game, when a sword goes to someone, even if they are standing next to you, you're not even targeting targeting those targets that are for, for whatever reason standing next to you, they will still be hit. And that's kind of awesome, in my opinion. I really like the combo system, or the, the combat system, as well as the combo system, actually. Forces you to have a certain amount of skill to actually get the most benefit out of your race, class, or whatever you're doing, of course. So. Let's directly start into the gameplay, of course. Clean kill. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, can't pick it up. Why can't I pick up gold? There we go. Little bit of lag there. Let's see if we can get some clean kills. I guess I just have to start smashing them until I have like a lucky crit or something. 
Oh, this is gonna be nice. Here we go. Oh! Piglets are not really that uh, strong as you can see. Let's kill those sickly narcs as well. As you can see, I actually hit that piglet as well with my shield. Uh, even though I wasn't even targeting him. Which is a perfect example of what I was talking about with this combat system. Really nice, I really like it. I really enjoy this game as well, so I'm really looking forward to releasing the higher level content. But this is the video, the, the, the one before the last video that I do on my first impressions and all the classes. Uh, the last one, of course, will be the Mystic, and I have a special surprise. Well, not extremely special, but I did something funny uh, with the Mystic, so I hope you guys will enjoy it if you checking this video out, of course. Which I hope you do, if you are interested in the Mystic especially. This Mystic is really different. I mean, it's it like that. But this video is, of course, about the Lancer. And I do like the Lancer. It's, it's pretty much just focused around tanking, of course. Which makes sense. Oh, that was a stun, by the way. They turn orange, in my experience. But I'm not in, I am... If I'm going to tank, I'm probably going to tank as a Lancer. Uh, also as a uh, an armor, of course. They look, just look badass. And I'm not entirely sure if you guys already have tanks yet. Or have a tank character. And uh, what race did you pick with that? Cause of course, did you just pick it because they look cool? Or did you actually think about the racials? Because I think with the armor, they look cool. Especially female. I do think that the females look a bit better. Especially if you like play warrior or something that um, is not a berserker, for example. Because if you have like a really bulky person or armor in this ra uh, this case, and you then have little um, little weapons, it just seems out of proportion. Even though with like the uh, Alan, the um, what's the other one, of course. Forgot their name. Oh yeah, the Popori. That actually has a more comedic uh, effect. But, you know, that's just my opinion, and my opinion ain't fact. Because I can definitely see that the people would like the other way around as well. Um, okay. I'm almost level 5 now. It's really annoying to get clean kills on these guys. Oh. Right. That made total sense. You actually have to weaken first. I don't even know. I don't even want to know. Let's just turn in the quest and uh, <laughs> see what we can get. By the way, your skills practically come to you every two levels. You can go to the skill training and pick some new stuff up. As far as I'm seeing Greetings. so far. Ooh. New stuff. It's always nice. I think. Right? Doesn't look like we have anything new. <laughs> For Mystic. Ironic. For the Federation. How far you've come. Well, you know, not that far. Just walked from the starting area to here. Um, Alright, let's... Tell Adria we are here to support her expedition. Especially in the city, so I guess we have to go down in the city and tell somebody we're gonna help her, I guess. So let's just quickly do that. Ooh, what the hell? That doesn't seem... It just looks awkward, the way she's standing. But that could be just me. But then the scene that my character, of course, because my character doesn't stand awkward. By the way, look at that. 
I actually missed that. I was so blind that I didn't see the gigantic stone looking tree that is purple and shiny. The first that the very first time I uh, logged in here and came in this area. I am by the way running all settings on high if you guys are wondering. And if you want to know my settings of my computer or the um the equipment that I use, it is all on my channel. Really easy to find. Because I got a lot of questions asking, can my computer run this? And I don't know if your computer can run this, guys. But there are recommended settings, and if they are close to that or above it, then you should be able to pull it off, right? I have a moment for you. All right. Make it snappy. Hey, oh, did I see that correctly? Was that? Oh, I have to be level six or above. What? This is weird. What is this? No, you can make pictures or so. I guess. Fair enough. So I guess we just have to go down there then. I become level six sooner or later. Let's show them how the Amani do it. Oh yeah, bombs. There's actually uh, there's actual items in this game that you can use as well, like most uh, MMOs have. Just quickly put them up here. And they're basically used. That's it. Oh, crits. It's kind of neat. Experience is the best sergeant I ever had. Unfortunately, you can't keep the bombs, as you can see. They suddenly disappeared out of my inventory. It's too sad. What is it, kid? Is this worth my time? For the Federation! Something important? A lot of quests going on right now. Oh, detector stone. That sounds like I'm going to find something. Get it? Get it? No? Anyone? No? Moving on then. Anyway, I think this video is about to come to a close. Otherwise, I uh, go beyond the limit of first impressions, I reckon. Oh, flying people. Don't want to mess with them too much. But anyway, what do you guys think about the Lancer? Because I think it's pretty awesome. They are the actual tanks. I haven't seen any Warriors tank yet, but they seem to be becoming the tanks as well. So I'm very curious to see how that works out on high level content. Can I get her that? Yes, I can. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure to uh, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more, make sure to, well, you know, subscribe. And if you have any requests regarding Terra characters, uh, quests, enemies, you know, whatever, make sure to put that in a comment under this video or put it on my Facebook, uh, Facebook which is probably a bit better to do, a bit easier for me to find as well. And if you don't know what my Facebook page is for this channel, it's in the description below. And otherwise, you can uh, find it on Facebook itself, of course, under Walls Go Rar. And I will wait your messages. And have a nice weekend, guys, of course, because it's Friday. It's Friday, Friday, everybody. No? Alright, before it gets too awkward. <laughs> I'll see you later, guys.